Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 55 to 56. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what's going on? So, your cramps are getting worse? They're usually not this bad, but they're especially painful this month. Well, you have had a lot of on your plate recently. I'll discuss this with Lord Fe Venus, lest there will be some other problems. I'm sure his input would be far better than mine, as he's been tending to you for months. <sighs> I've been wondering, how do women in this family deal with their period? Their menstrual blood would be poisonous too. And what if they get a seizure while they're on their period? Come to think of it, how do they give birth? Shersha had a son who wasn't cursed. Hmm. Never mind. It would be terribly rude to ask after all she's been through. Thank you. I heard about your medical checkup this morning. I've been thinking about your body is rather frail, Your Grace. Why? Are you ill? I'm fine, Selfie. Pray tell, how many times has our blood killed you? <clears throat> Forgive me. How many times have you been exposed to our blood? Oh, after coming back in time, three times? Three times? Other than mine? But when? Selfie, it's fine. I'll tell. Uh, that's murder. Hold on. That's murder. What if she didn't wake up? What if she had simply passed away? Have you apologized to her? Yes, uh, he did. <laughs> My in-laws are obsessed with me. He is angry. Episode 55. Selfie changed after that day. He's been telling us lady to stay away from the Grand Duke, for one. Huh? But he used to find it difficult to even talk to him. Oh, Selfie. I thought you'd be disappointed and stop talking to me. But rather, you're getting upset. He certainly changed. But he seems rather pleased that Selfie is getting mad at him. After spending a few months with him, now I can read his face. <laughs> All the face. Pleased, sad, doubtful, irritated, infuriated. He must be pleased, preferring Selfie to express his feelings rather than not expressing them at all. Come to think of it. I don't know if you guys can hear the massage chair. I put this little backing thing because my back been killing me. And if you guys hear that little yeah, that's that's me. I'm sorry. I need it. <laughs> I've been reading all day. I need this. I hear you wish to read ancient books. <gasps> wow! I had no idea there was a place like this here. There are so many studies and loads of books in the Grand Duke's manor. I wonder how many more there would be at his mansion out in, out in the Grand Dukedom. Miss Rebecca, please lower your voice. Oops, sorry. I hear some books at the auction were from here as well. Is that why you wanted to see the books? Yeah. <sighs> huh? I'm so glad you decided to take a break today, Your Grace. Resting is important too. You plan to stay here today, right? I'll go get some tea. 
Miss Rebecca is as merry as ever. That she is. Here is where we store the books you asked for. Wow, there really are a lot of ancient books here. We don't have nearly this many back in our club countdown. I'll go for some lighter reading today. Oh. Whoa. Are these... Oh, these are portraits of former heads of the house ever since they became dukes. And that is a portrait of the current Grand Duke. Wow, he looks so young. It must have been from when he just received his title. And next to him, is that his father? Lapillion, huh? The first Grand Duke. But the first Grand Duke should be Theodil's grandfather, since Gloria is his grandmother. Maybe Theodil's father didn't succeed the title. Why isn't there a portrait of the first Grand Duke? Oh, the Dowager Grand Duchess turned the frame around. Is, is that allowed? Well, her grace is the elder of the family right now. We must respect her wishes. They certainly have a long story, this family. Well, the fact that they are cursed makes them far more, far from ordinary to begin with. Even his name is covered up. The first to receive the title of Grand Duke, he reclaimed most of the Empire's land, spouses, Marcia, Elaine, Gloria. That's a lot of spouses. But most of them had more than one spouse. Oh, well, Coming in close contact with this family is bound to, short, to shorten one's life. Many of them passed away before bearing a child or during childbirth. Oh, how terrifying. How on earth did they notify the other family when the spouses died? And how did they manage to keep the curse a secret? Would you like to look at other portraits? We have portraits of Lady Sersha and young Master Selfie's birth father. Uh -oh. So this is Selfie's father. His hair color isn't black. The young master's mother had black hair. I see. Here's a portrait of Lady Shersha. How interesting. I stayed far too long. Listening to all those stories made me lose track of time. I'll continue the reading the books tomorrow. I'm exhausted. Uh. Huh? Oh. Huh? What's going on? Why are they so shocked and scared? Well, not scared, but shocked. Huh? Uh oh. She got scared and fell back. Oh, oh, the, the, oh, thank you. Maybe falling off the bed would have been better. Disaster she brought upon herself. I'm the one who asked him to sleep in the same bed. I usually asleep before he comes back, but this caught me off guard. Oh, uh, where is he going? Oh, uh, what? If he just leaves like that, it looks like I kicked him out. He didn't leave. How does he know about this? I heard you were in pain. Only this time. It usually isn't this painful for me. I know. The doctor said the, this works, so... Oh, when did you hear that? What's wrong with him? Yes, it's my fault for making a big fuss. I'll turn off the light then. Ragged dress, ragged soul. Alright. Well, it really is warm. Let's just go to sleep. Molten told me what Count Trellin said to you. Why don't you tell me? Oh. Well, what he said wasn't wrong. Besides, selfie is more important. Oh. Uh. Speaking of which, Selfie seems to be 
staring daggers at you as of late. Is that all right with you? I can't deny I was wrong. Well, the boy has every reason to be upset. But enough about that. You should go to sleep now. You look rather tired. He's so handsome. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 56. <sighs> oh, uh, how can I help you? I wanted to finish where we left off before Master Selfie interrupted our conversation. But it's been three days. The question I asked you last time was rather meaningless. It's not that helpful to our diagno diagnosis, diagnosis because we know almost nothing about the curse. I only wanted to be sure as you said the cramps felt more painful than before. Oh. But I still asked you the question because we needed information. I'll admit the timing was rather poor. Yes, poorly timed indeed. I heard from your maids and aid about your usual daily schedule. It's safe to say that the main cause is a heavy workload. So let's see how it progresses first. Are you taking the tea I gave you? Please make sure you drink all of it. I will. Um, what about you? Are you all right? I, I beg your pardon, but I've been wondering how you could cope with it when your blood is poisonous. I mean, it might overlap with seizures. Oh, of course, it feels painful as hell, and one could literally die if seizures occur at the same time. But that's why we use medicine to delay our periods. How is that possible? Venus made it for us. He also made the painkiller. How fortunate, don't you think? Even I didn't imagine I'll live this long. He must be really smart. Then what about the Dowager Grand Duchess? That's why she's an exception. I'm sure she'd live longer than any other Lapillian, despite being a woman and having had two children. After all, it's more dangerous after birth. Lady Shersha was supposed to... Never mind. When Master Selfius was about to be born, she was very worried if something might go wrong with the mother and child. So I'm not going to have children. I want to live longer. How is that possible? And how did Shersha's child make it out alive? Since he's not immune, the moment he was born, he should have... So... I know it's hard to understand. Because I don't either. It's just hard to understand that the curse is passed down only through men. And a curse like this is bound to end in the family line quite abrupt abruptly. Whatever the case, the babies will be instantly exposed to poison the moment they're born. However, despite the dangers, the newborn and mother usually survive childbirth. We also looking into the reason why, though we haven't dis discovered anything yet. But it's less dangerous. That's all. Still, half of them die. But it's only natural that they all die in those cases. And that's why I find it odd. Well, that was unexpected. I can't believe he kindly indulged my curiosity. Well, please excuse me now, Your Grace. I promise this lady that I'll help her read starting today. That's so cute. Are you going to out going out today as well? Yes, I, I should. Hi. Oh, you're always just lacking off. Where are you off to this time? Oh, well, someone's on edge today. Oh. Is it because you of what you said last time? But your dad's a good-looking fellow. Your parents are going to get along just fine. So what's the problem? But that's not enough anymore. 
If only I were 10 years older. What is he saying? If you really want to keep her around, find her, so her soft spot. Her soft spot? But that's a bit too extreme. What do you want to do then? Anyways, you should go. It looks like she's waiting for you already. Man, it's like he got a crush. He really is something. Is that the princess? Oh, man. What does she want this time? She's such an eyesore now. Um, okay, guys. Not much to say. But we're learning a little bit more about the Lapillians and how the curse works. It's kind of interesting that the women, they do get seizures and stuff when they are, and they could kill them if they were to have the seizure and have their menstrual cycle at the same time. So giving birth is risky because the blood, oh my gosh. That's something that I was questioning too, and I'm kind of glad they address it in this webtoon. Hmm. Okay, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!